We just made this Grinch Christmas tree accent using some SVGs that we made real easy. And we'll show you how we make our SVGs right now. What is up? Welcome back. Do you like to do a builder to make it? We do too. We have a new video each week. This week, we're showing you a little behind the curtains, a little peek into how we make our SVGs. Right, so a couple of weeks ago, we posed that question out there if you guys wanted to see a video on how to make SVGs. And so there was a lot of positive feedback on that one. Definitely yes. Yeah. So we're gonna do that this week. We're gonna show you the project we made at the end, but this week's video is gonna be more about how you can make your own SVG and you can make it for the Cricut, the Silhouette, the Glowforge, Whatever crafting tool you're using, you'll be able to use this technique for any of those. Any CNC machine. Let's just jump right into it. We're doing three easy SVGs. Well, they get progressively harder. The first one is super easy. I'm about to give up my secret sauce, my special ingredient, my top tip for making free SVGs. The easiest way that I know how. This is how I like to do it. So this is Canva. Canva's got a lot of great templates to start from. That's why I like it. Uh, we'll do something that's trending. We'll pick Christmas cards. We'll see what Christmas gift certificate has. Look, got a great starting place for a lot of your designs already. Ooh, I like this Merry Christmas down here. That's a good starting point. Let's, let's jump in here. With this free template, let's use it. Now go ahead, if you use like the pro version of this, I think it's like $14 a month or something, but there's so much you can do without the pro version, um, like it make SVGs. I'm not making a uh, voucher, so I got rid of that stuff down there. Let's crowd this together a little bit. Come on, get off. Doo -doo. Get that up in there. They got a bunch of different fonts like hundreds of fonts like even without having the pro version you still have like a hundred fonts or something they got some good ones but uh i think i'll stick with this grand hotel for now this is just a, an example let's get rid of these packages we're gonna add an element do, do, do. they have a bunch of them let's go with this snowflake bam He's a little big. I don't need him so big. I'll stick him down here in the corner. Ooh, I like these better. Yeah, yeah. Let's get rid of these. Do, 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 do. Oh, I kind of like it hanging from the bottom there. Now nah, let's move it up top. Mm, 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 mm. Now let's make sure we don't have a million different mats. So let's see what these colors are. And dark. We'll make them all dark. I want one. I want one red mat. So I'm making them all the same color. Whoops. Let's make a. We'll keep all those. Those all seem to be the same color. You know, we'll keep that as white. Let's make our snowflake this white. Let's get a different snowflake. Let's try this one. I like this one a little better. Let's Stick them up here. What else we got? Snow. Oh, there's a lot of different snow. Ooh, look at this one. Check this one out. Bam. Alright, get carried away. Let's make it the same color white. Let's make this make this black and make that black too make this one black all right 
Now we're gonna export it. This is what's great about Canva. We export it as a high quality PNG image. Okay, we'll download it real quick. Now we'll come over here to PNG to SVG.com. This is the other uh, special spice that I got. You come in, you gotta scroll down past all their ads and stuff. Choose a file. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I guess this is what it was called. <laughs> Pink and red bold typography. Yes, that's what I got. All right, let's see. Looks okay. How many other colors I got? I don't think that's a real color, is it? Let's pick, let's pick this, that color. Do, 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 well, let's see what we got. Generate. That's a lot of mats. I don't want that many mats. Five mats. Looks okay. Oh, here, let's do this. Let's make this color. I should have gotten rid of the background. Make it that color. This color is that color. That color is red. Eh, it looks okay. Do, 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 do. All right, I think we'll be able to tell the difference between all the backgrounds. Yep. If you scroll down now, bam, it gives you all of the mats you need with your little registration marks that you'll, so that you'll be able to line them up when you cut them out. So let's download it. Jump over to Cricut. We'll upload our image. Vector split, that's our jam. Look, it shows up all of our mats. Save. Mm, 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 mm. Let's insert this image. Look at that. Comes in. Let's ungroup it. Now we really don't need this big mat here. We'll delete it. Eh. What is this mat? Oh, is that all the shadow stuff? I don't know if we really need that. But you can play with it. You see the if you could get the the amount of colors in your design down it'll export over a whole lot easier. But we got the beef of it right here, the Merry Christmas. SVG number two. All right, this one's just a little bit more involved. You're gonna be using a program. We're using Adobe Illustrator, but I think you can replicate the same technique on Inkscape or uh, what's the other I saw one? I this other one called uh, Critter. I don't know yeah. about that one. Anyway, any of your editing tools, uh, you can use this technique on those. So this is a level two. A level two. Let's do something a little more complex. Let's borrow an image from somewhere. Ooh, double fingers. Good placement. Good placement. Nice, simple little Grinch. Let's do a copy image over to Adobe Illustrator. I'm gonna create new. We'll go 12 by 12 for now. We're gonna paste, paste in there. Then we're going to go to window, image trace, use our selection tool, select them. We're gonna see what three colors has to offer. Come on, three colors. Red, black, white, green. Oh, I lost red. Let's come bump that up to four colors. Let's see what we got. Give me back the hat. Give me back the hat. Looks great with all the defaults. So we're going to expand it, ungroup it, deselect. Use our direct selection tool. Select the white, delete, select this white. Delete. Don't select the path, select the whole thing. All right, looks pretty good. So uh, let's go to export as an SVG. Let's name it 
Um, a Grinch head. He's wearing a hat. It's not really just a face. Export. Let's keep the inline style. That should bring over all the colors so we'll know what layers are what. Oh, you know what? Let's do something real quick. Let's create a new layer. We'll call that hat. And then we'll create a new layer. We'll call that face. All right, let's move his hat to a layer. Take his hat and drag it up. Boop. Now let's take all the green pieces. And we'll move those up to face. Green. Do, do, do. Green. Is that all the green pieces? Let's see. We'll hide this layer. Yep. We'll hide this layer. Great. Let's hide the green and the red. We'll select everything. Boop. I over selected. Group it. Now we'll hide that. Unselect the red. I don't think there's anything to group, but we'll group it in case. Select all the green. Group. Dude. Let's unhide everything. Bam and bam. Now we'll do a export as. Yeah, we're still going with Grinch Head. Export. We're going to keep the inline styles. Again, that should bring over all the colors. Okay. Let's jump over to Cricut. Upload our image. Browse. Hey, Grinch head. Oh, look at that. You're looking beautiful. Save it as. Grab it. Insert image. Bam. Uh, there he is. Looking all uh, crisp and clean. With his different pieces. We can hide his head. That's actually his face. Grinch head. You got all your different layers. Whoops. Let's put him back. Make it. SVG number three. Level three. Level this three. one is still using, we're still gonna use Adobe Illustrator. You can use any of the other software programs. This one's just a little bit more intricate, a little more advanced. He, it'll go a little bit quick, but I think you can pause it and stop and see what he's doing. So let's get in there and show you. All right, let's go find something that we can do on the Glowforge and the Cricut that maybe is a little more complex. Let's go borrow an image. Well, let's go borrow some typing skills. Let's go borrow an image for how the Grinch stole Christmas. Let's find the DVD cover where his feet are exposed. There you go, this DVD cover. We'll uh, go ahead and copy this. We'll copy this image and we'll head on over to Adobe Illustrator. We're going to create new web. Let's paste it in there. All right. Now let's fit him on here so that we're looking at his legs and his feet, kind of like he's coming out of the tree. And uh, I need him big enough that I'll be able to trace him easily. So let's uh, resize him. Uh, looking good. So now what I want to do once I got them set is go ahead and use my pen tool. And then I'm going to put this on a different layer. So I'm going to add a new layer. And then let's call this body. Now let's call it legs because it's really just as button legs. All right, this is where I'm going to put all my anchor points. Now I'm going to put an anchor point anywhere where there's a corner. I'm just gonna go boop, boop, hitting all the corners, boop, like every corner. Just gonna hit every corner right now, go around. Doesn't have to be perfect. 
A lot of people will like to come in and put a point and drag it around and make it a curve. I don't. I like to find all of my points and then I'll come in and fine tune it with my curves. All right, once I have all of my corners mapped, I got all my anchor points set, I'm gonna select it and I'm gonna kill the fill. There, I know I have it all, let's kill the fill. And let's give this a red stroke because this will be my cut path. And I like using red strokes for my cut paths in Glowforge. Now I'm gonna select my pen tool again. I'm gonna select this little path and I'm gonna start putting in my anchor points to kind of hone it in. And I'm gonna round these anchor points. I'm gonna make these rounded. I'm gonna round each one of these all the way around trying to line it up with the outline of the image. Oops, undo. I'm just gonna grab the handles and stretch these out until they line up about with the black. I'm gonna do this all around the Grinch, hitting all the curved spots, just getting in there and uh, it's kinda tedious, so I'm gonna fast forward all of this. I think I got all of my points. I think I got it all rounded. It's outlined nicely. Now it's time to come in and start putting where I would put my score marks in. So I'm gonna come in just like I was doing with the pen tool before, except this time I'm gonna put these on a new layer, new layer, and I'm gonna call this layer uh, score marks because this will be all of my score marks. I got my legs. We're gonna call this cut out now. And those are my score marks. So again, I'm gonna come in with my pen tool, select the proper layer, and just start adding stroke marks. I'm gonna use blue, cause I like blue for all my score marks. And I'm gonna just lay down all of my little points, all my anchor points and draw them all out just like I did with the outside. I'm not gonna close all of my paths because I don't need to. Uh, they're just gonna be score marks. So this original version might not work with the Cricut, but the score marks will show up on the Glowforge. So I'm gonna add all my score marks in using blue lines and again, this is tedious, so I'm gonna fast forward this. All right, let's see what we got. Oh, looks pretty good. I think we're about ready. All right, so from here we can do a save as. I'm just gonna make sure we keep this and don't lose it. We'll call this a Grinch Legs. I'm gonna keep the AI file. All right, now let's test this out on the Glowforge. So we're gonna export it. Export as. We're gonna keep that Grinch Legs SVG thing going, but we're gonna call it Glowforge so we'll know this is the Glowforge version. All right, let's hop over to Glowforge, see what we got. Oh, hey, Grinch face. Gonna upload from a file. Get us that Grinch head, or the Grinch legs. Bam, there he is, look at that. And they came out on two layers, so let's size them up. Make sure we got the thick draft board selected. And now these are our score marks. We're gonna select score high quality. I want them crisp, I want them dark. All right, so it works in the Glowforge, but you know what? We're not done. We're gonna take it up a notch. So what we're gonna do 
is we're going to not only give them the score marks, but we're going to give score marks that we can color inside. So I'm just going to select the path, set an offset path, and what this will do is create another path uh, just like it, uh, but a little bit bigger around the edge. And I'm going to do this for all of my paths, and that way I'll be able to kind of color inside of them. Once I have everything set up with an offset path, I'm going to then go back in and delete the original path. That way I'll just be left with the outside. Once I have all of the offset paths set, I'm then going to go back in. I'm going to select both objects. I'm going to select both sets of paths. And then I'm going to join them. And this should join everything and get rid of all the marks in between them. Make it all one big path. Make sure everything's looking good. Touch them up. So we have all the score marks set. Everything looks good. We're going to bring back the original outside cut layer that we also put an offset on. I think it's time to go test this one out in the Glowforge app. All right, we're back. We got it all painted. This is the button legs. See where the engrave? Yeah, hold it up painted. a little bit closer. So the dark lines here, that's where he added the, um, what did you call it? The outline, the- The offset. Offset, yeah, that's it. Offset, so it created a little thicker line so we could come in and paint it with the little paint pen. But yep, that's how we do it. That's how we make the SVGs that we do our projects with. And these cute little guys, so this is one of those that's licensed so we can't sell something like this, so that's why we're showing you how to make it for yourself, not for sale. <laughs> and we're gonna put these in our Christmas tree. I wanna show it the one half of the, actually, yeah. Yeah. Let's go the other oh, way. You're upside yeah. down. Let's just trade. Now your legs are upside down. Oh my, yeah, it goes like, oh you're gosh. You're still upside down. Here we now, go. Now he's in the, here, yeah. Like this, go. okay. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> We're going to put this in our Christmas tree. I'm going to put a little stick on here. I'm going to add a little post, which I don't have on here yet. I'm just going to glue a little piece of MDF on the back of this. And it's going to go in one end of the Christmas tree, and his little hand's going to stick out the other end of the Christmas tree, and it looks like he's stealing our ornaments. He's stealing the biggest ornament we have. Yeah. No, I have I have balls that big. Oh, you do have balls that Christmas big. balls that big. Wow. With that, I think we're about out of time. <laughs> so uh, we're going to head out and jam this guy in our tree and grab a bite to eat. And we'll see you uh, next week where we'll do it building and make it again. <laughs> I'm going to balance him by his one toe. Oh, his one toe. His one toe. That is not going to happen. This toe right here. You don't think so? I don't think so. Yeah, look at that right there. Wow. Okay. He's tiptoeing on my Yeah, that's my, so cute. That looks really finger. cute. I can see it on the camera. It looks good. <laughs>